Hello dear students, our today's topic is synthesis of tolazolin. Let's look at structure of this compound. From the word tolazolin, you can guess the structural feature present over here. Tola stands for presence of this toluene-like structure and zolene stands for presence of nitrogen containing five-membered ring system. The five-membered ring system present over here is the saturated imidazole ring. So for nomenclature, we will use the cytocycle imidazole. The numbering starts from this nitrogen. So this is number one, two, and this is number three. On second position, we have presence of benzyl. So it is called as two benzyl, one H imidazole. Now, if we say imidazole, that means there should be a double bond over position number 4 and 5 but it is not there that means the position 4 and 5 is saturated so it is called as 4,5 dihydro this is the nascent hydrogen which is present on position number 1 so it is called as 1H imidazole next move on to the therapeutic category tolazolin is alpha adrenergic antagonist and is a potent vasodilator it is used in combination with nitro sodium nitroprusside to treat peripheral vasoconstriction which is responsible for elevated blood pressure. So that's why tolazolin is used in treatment of high blood pressure. Next move on to synthesis of this compound. The synthesis starts with this is starting material which is called as benzyl cyanide. Now this is the benzyl group and this is cyanide. So it is benzyl cyanide. In IUPC nomenclature, we will use the nitrile. So it is a two carbon chain. So it is acetonitrile. We call it nitrile because there is a triple bond between this carbon and nitrogen. So this is carbon number one and this will become a number two. And on two we have a phenyl. So it is called as two phenyl acetonitrile which reacted with ethanol now ethanol is acidic in nature so it will liberate out the h plus ion which will move on to this nitrogen which is a nucleophile this ethoxide group c2h5o minus will then move on to this carbon so with this we have formation of this ester which is called as ethyl carboxyimidate you can find that here is C double bond NH. So it is called this carbox imidate. This carbox imidate derivative is then reacted with ethylene diamine. When reaction takes place, one of this hydrogen and this NH2 group will make up ammonia, which is removed out from here. And thus, this carbon is get attached on this nitrogen. So you will find the attachment over here. This is this carbon. This amino group then attack on this carbon whereby there is release of this ethanol. One of this hydrogen and this ethoxy group will be released out as ethanol. So with this we have the cyclization right here. And with this we have formation of our title compound tolazolin. That is all about Tola Dolin. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe.